channel so today I have a much requested video for you guys and it's a tutorial on this look that I wore in my story time video where I was talking about that whole scam and a lot of you asked uh, for me to do a makeup tutorial on this look so here it is I'm just gonna jump straight into this video and I hope you guys will like it so I always like to start off with my eyebrows first and I'm using the Anastasia brow definer in dark brown this is definitely one of my favourite eyebrow pencils because it's super easy to use and it just makes doing my eyebrows really really quick so that's why I really like to keep this one but I also do keep it more for special occasions because it is more on the pricey side. I also have this really cool thing that I do for my brows and I dip my spoolie in a light coloured eyeshadow and then I just comb that through the inner bits of my eyebrows and what that does is just that it creates a nice ombre brow. Next I'm going to be cleaning my eyebrows with a bit of concealer and this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. I always have to do this step because it just makes my eyebrows look much neater because I don't know what the hell's going on with my brows at the moment but it just cleans everything up. And just to set my brows in place I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in Medium to Dark which is like one of the best drugstore brow gels out there. And then another thing that I've been loving to do lately is I've been using these gold eye masks that I got from Amazon or eBay but I'll leave a link in the info box um, and rather than using them under my eyes I actually put them around my mouth area where I have a lot of dryness I also do have quite deep smile lines so I just like to place them on that area and it actually really hydrates and also plumps weirdly enough um, but I just like to keep that for 10 minutes while I'm doing my eye makeup. Now onto the eyes I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as a eyeshadow primer and it also creates a nice canvas like a plain canvas for your eyeshadow to go on to and next I'm going to be using this Morphe 35O palette and that shade that I was pointing to just to set the concealer in place. Here I'm taking the uh, Camille kind of shade from the palette and just going to use this as a transition colour. This is one of my most favourite colours in the palette. And then after that I'm going to be grabbing the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the shade Rioga which is a taupey brown kind of colour and I'm going to be using this in my crease and really blend it into the colour that we use from the Morphe palette. And you just want to really diffuse it out with a fluffy brush really. It really helps to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend away really. Once I was done blending I did grab the first shade that we used to set the concealer and I used a flat brush. This brush is by basically from the Anastasia palette but I just uh, kind of filled the inner corner of my lid just to mattify that a bit more and clean it up a bit more. I also did grab the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Eyeliner in black just to tight line and add a bit more definition to the lash line and I just took the um, eye mask off my mouth area and it actually did plump up the smile lines a bit. You probably can't see on camera but there was a tiny difference I would say. Um, now I'm moisturising my skin, I'm using the Origins Rejuvenating Ultra Rich Cream. And I also went on to colour correcting around my mouth area. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. And for foundation today, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in caramel. And I just really, really, really love this foundation. Like every time I wear this foundation um, in a video, you guys notice a difference. It's just a really good foundation. So definitely check it out because it's so good and I also do have a review on it so if you guys want to see that video I'll leave a link in the info box and on to concealer I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and I'm highlighting my under eyes, um, bridge of my nose, forehead and chin and then I just blended it all out with a brush and I did go on to using a sponge afterwards just to smooth out the edges and another good tip is to take your foundation brush and really blend out the edges so there's not really any harsh lines and to set my concealer in place I'm using the Ben Nye Banana Powder with a sponge these are like uh, wedges that I get from Boots they're like one 69 or something like that for five of them I guess but it's really good I literally use them every single day um, and after baking I do kind of wipe her away like two seconds later 
And now onto bronzer, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Deep just to add a bit of definition to my cheeks and I also did go in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep to add a bit more colour to my skin and I really really love this bronzer because it just makes your skin really soft, well look really soft I mean and yeah I just like to use this to add a bit more colour to my skin and then onto highlighter I'm using this New Look um, Baked um, powder in golden glow it's got such a long name but um i just really really love this highlighter and i'm just packing this on the highest points of my face and now onto the eyes well back onto the eyes i'm using the shade real girl that we used earlier on from the anastasia palette and i'm just going to buff this into my lower lash line with a fluffy brush and i also did use the same eyeliner by maybelline just to line my lower waterline now onto mascara, I do have my lash sensation on that's getting a bit dry so I actually sprayed it with some Smashbox Primer Water and oh my god it made it alive again like seriously it's so good like if you haven't tried this tip before, before I used to put water but setting spray just makes it a bit better like I don't know why it just made my lashes look so much thicker like it made the formula thicker for some reason so yeah as you can see like I just feel like they look thicker than I usually than they usually do when I normally apply mascara but it might be just me but try it out if you haven't and then onto lips I'm using the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton which is the color that I wore in my scam video and so many of you wanted to know what it was but yeah I just love this color and finally I just set all my makeup with some Smashbox primer water so that is the end of this tutorial I hope you guys really enjoyed this one and um, yeah I really really like this look it's super simple but super glam at the same time so yeah I don't know um, and also that tip with the like wetting the mascara is so good like it like that mascara was getting so dry and I was gonna throw it away but I got this idea to spray it with like makeup spray and it literally it just made my eyelashes look thicker than it actually does like than usually when I put my mascara but yeah, definitely try it if you have some dry mascaras laying around. It literally brings it back to life. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome to the family. And I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I shall see you next time. Bye.